Hello, I am going to be reading aloud from the New Bedford Public Schools English Language Arts Learning Packet Part 2, Grade 1. Today I'm going to be doing Lesson 2 with the story David and the Sea Turtles. Again, I encourage you to follow along as I read aloud, and then at the end we will be going over the comprehension questions. David and the Sea Turtles by Rachel Graham. David wanted to go to the beach with his friends. They wanted to see the baby sea turtles come out of their eggs. David's parents said he could go. They went to the beach when it was still dark. They waited for sunrise. David knew that the turtle eggs open when the sun comes up. David walked up a hill made of sand. It felt soft and wet on his feet. He had paper and pens. He wanted to make a picture as he sat. Then he saw a hole in the sand. He knew there were eggs in the hole. David could not see the water. It was too dark. But he could smell it. He could hear it. The water was loud when it hit the sand. The sun came up a little. David could see the water. Birds flew in the sky nearby. Suddenly, a turtle dug out of the sand. David made pictures as more turtles came out. 10, 15, 20, so many babies. David heard a loud noise. He saw a bird. It flew down. It wanted to eat a turtle. David ran closer. He wanted to help, but he did not want to get in the way. He was glad when the bird left. The turtle swam in the sea. David still had his turtle drawings. Okay, now we're going to go over the comprehension questions. As a reminder, feel free to pause as I'm reading so that you can answer along with me. Also, remember to go back into the text to find your answers. So we're going to start with question one from page one of this passage. When does this part of the story take place? Complete the sentence. Again, when does this part of the story take place? So let's read the sentence. The story takes place at the beach before the blank is up. So again, you're going to want to go to page one of this story. The story takes place at the beach before the blank is up. A, sun, B, moon, C, sea. So the story takes place at the beach before the sun is up. The story takes place at the beach before the moon is up or the story takes place at the beach before the sea is up. Okay, question two. This one is on page one of the passage as well. Why are David and his friends at the beach? Why are David and his friends at the beach? A, they like to help the turtles look for food. B, they want to watch the turtles leave their eggs. Or C, they hope to swim in the water with the turtles. Question three, from page two of our passage, where are the eggs buried? Again, where are the eggs buried? A. The eggs are buried in the ocean. B, the eggs are buried in the grass. Or C, the eggs are buried in the sand. Remember to look back in your story. Question four. Again, page two of our passage. 
How does the beach sound in the part of the story? So it's very important to go back to page two. How does the beach sound in this part of the story? A, the sky is sunny. B, the sand is dry. C, the water is loud. Now there's a clue in there if it says, how does the beach sound? The sky is sunny. The sand is dry or the water is loud. Okay, number five from page three of our passage. How is different in the story? So, again, looking back is very important because. This part of the story, how it was different. And again, they want us to complete the sentence. There is more blank on the beach now. So we're comparing it to the beginning of the story. So this part of the story to the beginning. There is more grass on the beach now. There is more light on the beach now. Or there is more sand on the beach now. Question six from page three of the passage. How does David keep track of what he sees? How does David keep track of what he sees? A, David makes pictures. B, David writes words. C, David digs sand. So how does David keep track of what he sees? A makes pictures, B, writes words, C, digs sand. Okay, question seven. What do the details on this page tell you about the setting? So again, it's important that we go back to page four. This is exactly where they're talking about. And they want us to pay attention to the setting. A, it is not safe for the turtles. B, it is a good home for the turtles. Or C, it has a lot of food for the turtles. So again, what do the details on page four tell you about the setting? It is not safe for the turtles. It is a good home for the turtles. Or it has a lot of food for the turtles. And number eight, we can find this on page four of the passage. What happens last in the story? Choose the event. And we are filling in our missing blank here. So they have first, David and his friends go to the beach when it is dark. Next, David sees the sea turtles come out of their eggs. Last. David keeps the birds away from the turtles. B, the turtles go to the sea and swim away. Or C, a bird takes a baby turtle to the sea. So again, we're sequencing them in the same order as they happen in Erie. And we can look back on page four. So last, David keeps the birds away from the turtles. Last, the turtles go to the sea and swim away. Or last, a bird takes a baby turtle to the sea. Okay, excellent job. Remember, I would love for you to re-listen to the story. Make sure you're answering your questions. And as always, I'm challenging you to go back and read this passage a few times on your own. Thank you.